Welcome to the Shooting Channel and welcome to the Shooting Show 2023. And we've come to the Browning stand to see David, to visit him and talk to him about what new releases he's got this year and what 2023 has in set for Browning. How are you? Very well. Good man. Looking forward to a good weekend? Yeah, it's going to be great. Really excited. We've got some nice new product to show you. And, uh, and the atmosphere you've got a is fantastic good. stand as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, really it's really nice. Effort. Yeah, we're really happy with it. So, uh, so what yeah. good, exciting things have you got for the game shooter and the clay shooter? Right, we've got a, a range of new product this year. You know, every year we do a range of special edition products. So yeah. just a one-off uh, special production. We've got some very nice ones for 2023, which I'm sure you're going to love. A couple over here, actually, if you want to come and have a look. This is uh, the new medallion model. Um, as you say, we, it's a special edition, so it's not going to go into the range. It will be a one-off production for 2023. We'll be selling this into the dealerships around about March time, so for delivery projected about October. But this is uh, the medallion, as you can see, sil silver nitride, but if you look into That's the light, really nice. it, these flecks of silver, and yeah. these are inset, these little flecks of silver into this tight scroll work, yeah. really picks up the light. It's a really beautiful design I think and that paired with this lovely dark walnut really and really it's striking new and different I don't think anyone else we've never done, done this one before um, it's a new concept for us but we we like this new tone on tone yeah. style of engraving I think it looks very classy without being too in your face you know it's it's, it's classy and what's that going to retail for, for um, user? that's about a five thousand pound retail product so not outrageously expensive yeah. but very very high quality for the price point and we do this in a 12 gauge and a 20 in a game gun and a sporting gun as well so we can got the sporters over there we can show you in a Let's second. Let's have a look at the sporter. So we've come to see the new sporter the upgrade for your XS Pro. We all know <laughs> I love the XS Pro so let's see if I love this just as much. Well again it shows the same engraving pattern as the one we've just seen on the game gun. Beautiful silver on silver combination there, which is particularly nice. This is the sporting version, adjustable stock, as you can see. Selection of pads, uh, it's got the, the larger uh, pistol grip here with the palm swell. Some extended chokes as standard and a 10 mil rib. So, uh, and it does it come with the sort of trap for, style forward? Uh, no, well. it comes with that sort of straight forend, parallel forend for this particular model. But I mean, you could, if in theory, upgrade it to a semi beaver tail yeah. at an additional cost. Because that's the one thing that clay shooters do like yeah. it. They like the, the, yeah. the heaviness yeah. um, of that the forehand. wider handle, uh, wider forehand, yeah. 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 And when will this be out? I would say probably September, October time for this one. So there you have it, your two new Browning guns ready for September. So I also wanted to show you this one, David. It's, it's quite interesting for you, I think. Um, this is, remember the Liberty that we did yeah. for the, uh, we, we never call it a ladies gun because 30% of our customers are actually men. We call it a smaller stature gun. Um, well, this we've in, increased the range into a 20 bore as well now. So same stock dimensions uh, with that semi Monte Carlo stock. Uh, and is it still a game kind of It's a style? It's a bit of a hybrid because it's yeah. sort of an eight mil rib. So it's a yeah. cross between a game. It's an all rounder really. Yeah. Um, but the idea is obviously feel the lightness of it. It's absolutely that ideal is, yeah. for younger shots. Yeah, for younger and shots smaller and smaller ladies. Yeah. So there you have, if you want a 20 ball, this is your new 20 ball, the Liberty Light 20 ball, which again, it's been out for a long time, but it's just a nice new gun for a different type of person. Just an addition to the range. But that lovely engraving as well is, uh, really makes it stand out. Thank you, David, and good luck for the weekend. And you, thank you very much. So we've come to the Ray Trade stand. I've been introduced to Emma Illsley, and she's just gonna walk me around, and we're just gonna pick a couple of Yield its products just to show you what's new out there and what is going to be the best gun for 2023. So, Emma, how was the show you. for you yesterday? Though? Yeah, yesterday was a really good day. We had lots of inquiries about the pro, and it's been going down really well. Um, hopefully, hoping for another good day again today. Um, push a few sales on it, it'll be really good for us. And um, do you shoot much still? I do. Um, I shoot a Yield its pro, I shoot Olympic skeet yeah. uh, now. Um, I was on the British Shooting Talent Academy, yeah. um, getting ready to go again for the competition season this year. Yeah. Looking forward to it. So, yeah. And you, as a lady shooter, what is your go-to gun? I look for something that is able to be versatile, something that you can adjust in a multitude of ways. Is something really important to me. 
something that balances well. And for Olympic skeet, because yeah. obviously there's not a lot of yield, it's out there on the Olympic range, and because see my history with double trap as well, how do you think yield it's um, will fare in the Olympic world? Obviously, Yield It's is an up-and-coming brand. Yeah. Um, I don't actually think there's any need to necessarily use a skeet gun for skeet anymore. That was something of sort of a bygone time, really. I obviously shoot a, a pro sport, um, yeah. and I get on absolutely fine with it. Um, I've been shooting it for the last few months, starting to learn the gun, and I've been really enjoying it. So if there's any viewers out there that is thinking of... A, a new gun for Olympic ski or Olympic trap. Everyone kind of, their go-to gun is Pratsy, Beretta, Browning. Can you show me, just pick a gun off the rack and show me what you would do in the yieldage range? So this is the Pro Sport Black Action. Yeah. Comes in a 28, 30 or 32 inch barrel, uh, grade four or grade three wood. Uh, and which the, is your go-to one for barrel uh, length? Grade four yeah. uh, and a 28 inch barrel. Yeah. It just gives you that extra ability to get onto the movements for for skeet, obviously Olympic skeet is fast, yeah. targets are moving at 58 miles an hour, you need to be able to move the end of the gun. So the grade four, that comes in a, a green velour case. Uh, the grade three model comes in a black plastic ABS case. Um, as you can see, the wood is stunning on some of these guns. Just show the viewers, because everyone looks at a, rate, a yield it's as a cheaper alternative to a party or something like that. Yeah. But I just want to show them that actually Compared to a Pratsy or a Beretta or a Browning, Yield it's is up there with them. So yeah. you just want to show them what actually you can do with the adjustable comb, left, right, up, down. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll just take this top off. So that, that moves left to right? Yeah, absolutely. So you can see that you can put your cast on as you wish. Um, me, personally, I've got mine right over to the right-hand side. So, yeah, it's a very versatile setup inside here to be able to adjust it to your needs. So that, that's it. If you want to Yield it. Pro, it is as good as some of the top class guns. So go and try one. As Emma has proved that she can shoot Olympic skeet with one as well, go and try one, go and have a go with one. So we've gone down the Yield It Pro. Now, if, if you're starting shooting, obviously Yield It's are a very good starting gun as well. Yeah. What's the sort of go to gun within the starting range? Um, so this is our sort of entry level range. Um, these these ones are with uh, the aluminium action, as you yeah. can see. So they keep them nice and light. Um, available in a 12, 20, 28 and 410 caliber. Uh, all available as a standard 14 and 5 eighths uh, inch stock or a, a junior 13 and a half inch stock. So the standard stock lengths, they're available in barrel lengths 28 and 30. And then the shorter stock length that comes with 26 inch barrels. So no matter if you're starting with a small bore or you're looking at, you know, a, a 12, but perhaps you just need that, that shorter stock, um, there's still a, something available for you. So, so Yield It's have basically got the whole range from starter cheap guns from yeah. sort of 600 pounds yeah. up to sort of two, two and a half grand for serious competitive and cane shooting. Yeah, and there's everything in between yeah. as well. So I think that the range that we have on offer yeah. is is very ex exclusive of, of all budgets really okay any plans that you personally have got for for 2023 or yield it or uh personally i'm i'm back on the scene for competing again this year obviously training starting again so just trying to build on what i had last year um any small successes along the way is an absolute bonus but i'm just enjoying every moment that i have here at the moment so. and give me three tips for getting your age sort of get ladies into it because it's a very male orientated sport. Yeah. Um, how, could, how would you suggest to get more ladies into it? There's a lot of new initiatives going around at the moment. Uh, we've got things like the Chelsea Bun Club, all of those kind of initiatives which help to include women and youngsters into, into the sport. So go along and see one of those. Uh, they're all available to see on websites and on social media, so check those out. There's a lot of people, actually, that we don't realise are involved in shooting or have yeah. been in the past. And just go and speak to clubs uh, or shooting grounds. Oxford Gun Company, I'm aware that they do a lot to to help young young people into the sport. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, and thank you ever so much for your time. Absolutely. Thank and, you, David. Nice um, to see you. Have a good show. Thank you. Thank you. One person that I've known for a very long time would put a gun in her shoulder for the very first time, 11 years old, and one year she won a car in clay shooting. She's now 16 years old, 
and won her first Junior World Cup last year. Beth, nice to see so, you again. Your journey from 11 to 16. Yes. Tell me about your journey. I mean, it's been a pretty hectic one. Obviously, I started out in English sporting when I was 11 and then won the TSC later that year. Uh, then I progressed onto English ski, DTL, did a bit of everything really. And I started Olympic ski when I was 13, straight onto the British Shooting Pathway. Um, and I moved up onto the Talent Academy a year later, where I represented GB for the first time last year at the Junior World Cup in Seoul, Junior European Championships in Cyprus and World Championships in Croatia, which was an awesome experience. And did you ever think, when we first literally had that gun in your hand and you were a little tiny girl, which not quite now, you're a young lady now, did you ever think you would go from winning a car the first girl to ever win a car in clay shooting to win an Olympic ski World Cup? I mean, I always hoped that I would. Um, I didn't ever think it was really possible, especially when I first tried Olympic ski. I was like, this is so hard. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while, but I picked it up pretty quickly. Um, but I had that good, solid foundation from sporting and the TSC to help me get there. Mind you, you did pick the girls' sport, not double trap or, or Olympic trap. Well, I tried Olympic <laughs> trap and I wanted more of a challenge, so I went for Olympic ski. <laughs> well, double trap isn't around. Dou yeah, so. I would. I think double trap, if it was still here, I'd have probably been shooting that. <laughs> and, and the Olympic world, from a girl's point of view, obviously we're at the shooting show and 90% of people here are blokes. Yeah. From your point of view, from a young girl, what, what can you offer those girls that are watching this and thinking, do I do I step into that shooting market? Because it must be sort of intimidating from a girl's point of view to start with. Yeah, I mean, you definitely just have to throw yourself into it. I mean, this was my first time here last year and I talked to everyone I could, just meeting new people, having good conversations. I met Zolly for the first time uh, here a year ago and now I'm one of their sponsor shooters. Uh, so it's just incredible, really. And, I mean, the Olympic ski girls are such a lovely bunch and getting to tour the world and meet all the other shooters and lady shooters from the different nations, it's, it's a really community feel. And going overseas, I mean, yes. everyone would love to go and shoot overseas. I can remember shooting all over the world. It's a fantastic experience. Yeah. What life experience has that given you? So much. It's just independence, organisation skills. I mean, we're having to get up at, get to the range for 7am in the morning, having to bring the range, uh, go to the armoury, check all the accreditation, remembering all that, preparing in advance, all the packing and stuff. It's very... You have to have a lot of independence and a lot of self-discipline for that. Um, but it's like life skills that you, you're never really going to forget. And what one thing, if, you, if somebody bumps into you today and a girl was thinking about taking up shooting, what can you tell them? Why, why do they want to take it up? First of all, you get a nice sparkly gun, like the Zed Bella. I mean, if you're going to start out shooting, there's no really better gun for a lady than a, than a Zed Bella. So, girls with guns, that is the answer. If you always want to shoot, just girls, get yourself a gun yes, and you'll end up <laughs> like Beth. Thank you, Beth. Thank you very much. And I will enjoy, remember, Olympic gold medal is yours in your hands. Mm -hmm. So if you, want, if you want to watch or follow Beth Norton's future shooting, you can visit Beth on Instagram and Facebook and she's going to be the Olympic champion. <laughs> So we've come to Elderkins. Bill has in, been in the gun trade for a very long time, and he's also a viewer. Uh, he was saying yesterday how he thought our channel was so good, so we thought we would come and give him, he's gonna come and pick a really nice pair of English guns that he's got on the stand and just talk to us about it. Let's go and see. So Bill, you're uh, very similar to my father. You've been in the gun trade a long, while, a long yes. time. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the gun trade and gun sales, you're quite a specialist in English guns. Yeah, I mean, the English guns, which we're sort of known for, I suppose, for maybe all, all the years that we've been, been going, uh, well, yeah, so 1880, so yeah, we've been going for a while. Yeah, I mean, we still find, you know, there's a good uh, sort of sale for these guns. There's been a lot of uh, contention with the steel shot, um, uh, you know, debate about it. But all these guns you'll see here, varying from, where are we, the, that's probably the oldest, that's a 1910 Purdy that we've just restocked actually. Uh, 
you know, up to a sort of more modern Purdy there, a 60s Purdy. Um, they'll all shoot your standard steel yes. uh, two and a half inch cartridge up to yep. 30 gram. So I think that's getting out there. The people do know their old favorite gun can still yep. be used for, for steel. And, and again, you know, it's obviously lead can still be used and they are, I look upon them like a classic car. Probably wouldn't, you know, you, you probably shoot better with a modern gun or you might do, but you have more of a smile on your face when you use something like this. You know, your pride of ownership and you, know, you look at, there's one here. I mean, this is a Purdy here. 1954 and as you see it's got all its original finish still got you know the hardening there again it's a gun that's you know been lightly used in a family family gun that's come out and these are the things that we like to um you know get hold of the old family guns that come in uh we then put them through the workshop like there's two hollands here that are about to go through to the workshop uh, that particular one my grandfather sold to the chap in 1946 yeah. uh, or his father should I say yeah. so that's going to go all through the workshop be re black, polished, checkered uh, and again then for the next uh, you know caretaker if you like to have it for their, their time and then somebody else will take it on so I mean there's still amazing things really you know when you think you, you know that's 110 years old and still going as you know as good as new uh, yeah and then you get something like this, which um, these are a modern pair of English over and unders done on the Purdy sort of action. They've actually got Ward's name on, but they're 28 bore, 30 inch. Again, real, I suppose it's a real sort of modern English gun for probably the, the younger person that's obviously done well for yeah. themselves. And, and they're the next ones that in 50 years time, the next generation will, will have. So uh, there's still a market for oh, side oh, side. oh, definitely, yes. I mean, the I'd say last year was probably the best yeah. for English guns we've had, had, you know, for quite a few years. You know, I think people are there's getting fewer and fewer good ones. Uh, the uh, and uh, yeah, people are you know just always strive they wanted one and uh, yeah, they, 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 you so, know. So there you have it. If you are thinking about a side by side or an English gun, it's not just me that's saying there's still a market. Bill Elder King has been in the gun trade for many, many years, and there's still a market. So, and you can use them with steel shots, so don't worry about the steel shot thing. Go and get yourself a nice English gun, a pair of them, or a single. Go and get it, go and get it. It's our history. Let's keep our history going. That's it, and enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah, thank no, you. No, no.